Hey everybody, hi, it's Pat here and I'm back again to go deeper based on my keynote presentation that I shared with you in Mexico because we're going to step two today. So this is a little bit unorthodox because I just finished my workout. So I'm still sweating, I'm cooling down with my water and it just felt like such a perfect fit with step number two that I was telling you about based on the steps here, the five steps, step number two is to create a plan. And as I was on the treadmill working out, I was thinking about my plan because when I go down to the gym, I follow the plan that my trainer has created for me. It's quite detailed, it's spelled out, and I follow it to the letter because he's the expert. I know what my health and wellness goals are. I know I want certain muscle tone that I'm working on. And I know overall the health and wellness goals. And he breaks it down for me from Monday to Saturday and what I need to do to get to the vision of what I want and more importantly, how I want to feel. What has that got to do with business? I'll tell you, as a business coach, the number one reason most entrepreneurs fail and particularly work at home entrepreneurs is because they don't have a plan. You've got to have a plan, whether it's for your life or whether it's for your business. So in life without a life plan, you're going to fall into a rut. You're going to wake up one day and, and say to yourself, is this all there is? And then tell yourself the lie that it's too late. I shared with you on stage, it's never too late. As an entrepreneur, You've got to have a plan and work the plan. And my other secrets to success is people always ask me, how did I grow my business so quickly? You've got to have a coach and accountability. But again, none of that matters without a plan. So for me, my three steps to success are have a coach, have a plan, work the plan and be accountable. Now, as I had mentioned, the plan does not need to be complicated. I have a five-step business plan and I follow that along with my wall calendar as I shared with you. And so when I look at my calendar that represents and reflects the person I want to become, not my to-do list, every day when I sit down, I work my business plan. I know exactly the revenue I want to generate today. I know exactly the number of calls I need and want to make to match that revenue goal. I know the uh, activities that I'm going to participate in in my first hour at work. Once I have a shower, have my shake, get back to my desk. The first hour is focused on revenue generating activities. My business, my plan leading up to my success to support the lifestyle that I want. That's the bottom line. So step number two, to live your best life and have a profitable business, you gotta have a plan. So if you don't have one, click the link below. Let's get on a strategy call and let me help you at least uncover or discuss your number one challenge in business right now. Otherwise, I'll be back again in a few short days as we go deep into step number three, which is taking baby steps. That also is part of the secret sauce. All right, everyone, get out there, grow that business, make a difference, live your best life. Bye, everyone.